the DNA molecule. Some people think it's a very complicated structure because after all, that's where life resides in terms of replication. But here at Baruch College, one of our professors has come up with a great idea to teach this structure while playing. So I have this puzzle, all right? I want you to attempt to assemble the puzzle. This is all I'm gonna tell you. If it's the same color, the, all the shapes on it are, are exactly the same. If it's a different color, all the shapes on it are different from the other ones, okay? Okay, so see, so you guys, see what you can assemble. I always feel it's better to work with something physically and see it visually and it seemed even though we draw it on the board or watch videos it there's no spark um, it's still hard for people to conceive what's going on with the molecule or to even visualize it in their head so i sort of wanted to put it in front of you literally how you could visualize it and work with it i think if you really understand this you may be able to understand more about dna than we already know because it goes by the biochemical and physical rules of the molecule itself. There's no way to do it other than one way and that's how DNA works. It isn't very complicated. It's just simplified into certain rules and if you can follow those rules and those are just the aspects of the jigsaw, then you can get understand the molecule. I think you can use it in elementary all the way up. I think people who are coming from a non-science field, like business people who need to understand about biology for investments, I think you can make you can make this conceivable to everyone. And I think that's that's the beauty of it. So is that you don't have to think of science as something mystical. It's it's really just if you understand the rules and the of physics and biochemistry you can understand how everything works. You guys are getting it, yeah. Yep. Do we need to alternate or? It's up to you. Just show me how it fits. This is the first time that I've played with this puzzle, yes. I've never seen it before. Well, for me specifically, I learn by doing. So I, I remember um, in previous years in Dr. S's class, we use pipe cleaners to understand how, to, how the process of mitosis and meiosis worked. And for me, that was a big help because sometimes it's hard to visualize um, how these processes happen and how exactly um, everything is working. So with the pipe cleaners, we were able to visualize every single step of the um, cycle. So I think with the puzzles, it's similar in that you can now have something to actually vi visualize, move apart, put together, and kind of like figure it out step by step without having to have it in your head. The thing that I thought was really cool was that just from the way that the pieces fit together, there's only one way to really put them together. And uh, if the goal is to get them all uh, linked. And so then the idea that it could be DNA like kind of came out of that and that's cool. It's not like you have to really know that the two pieces like the blues and the yellows or any of the colors fit together in a certain way. It's just that the way that the things are shaped they have to be that way and that's kind of cool. Well if you ask them to try it they'd probably say no because they think oh it's simple it's just like this is something that four-year-olds would use. So, but if you made them use it, then the idea would click in their heads like, oh wow, this is actually how these things work. Because when you get right down to it, um, even some things like mitosis and meiosis, it, you know, these are physical processes. These are things that are moving and shifting around. And it's not just you know, things that you're reading out of a book that you're then memorizing and then writing on a test. So these are things that are actually happening. And so if you can recreate that physically in some other sense, then you, yeah, you can start to visualize it. And, probably learn it a little bit better. Is that supposed to uh, be similar to something? Rods and cones? Well, let's see. Let's see if you can, because you can put everybody together. I think there may be one leftover piece. I'm not too sure. Oh. Cool. Great. And there you have it. This is a way, a new way, to teach by doing. 
And next week, we'll be talking about some other new initiative we are taking here at Baruch to teach our students better. So stay tuned.